Hi folks, this is David Kavanagh from David Kavanagh Internet Coaching and AskDavidKavanagh.com coming, yeah, coming to you tonight from Paddy Beach, Thailand just to show you how to actually do a web page or website in Microsoft Front Page. And what I'm talking about when I say that is a site similar to this kind of thing here, okay? Because I've had a lot of people say to me, um, David, when you're doing sites like that, how do you actually do it? What, how do you start constructing it, etc. Okay, I'll give you a quick look. First of all, you need a copy of Microsoft Front Page on your computer. Okay, it works similar in Microsoft Front Page Express, but there are a few more options in Microsoft Front Page itself. So what I'll do, I've got in front of you right now, uh, Microsoft Front Page. Now, what I do up here, see up in the corner, create a normal page that's just up here in the corner. What I do, first of all, I click on this little button here. I click on that first. So what we'll do, we'll do that together now we'll click on that button and usually I come across to this side if this is open this thing here and I click on this cross just to get rid of it that's what I do so I'll close that so now when you look at it here is your page that's your blank page now people say to me what can I do on a website like what kind of things can I do etc well please note the part that I'm showing you right now, all in here, all that, well, that's actually um, your web page. Now, you can have that thing on it if you want, or you can have a pretty design, but that looks ghastly. So what I'll do, I'll actually show you something to make a little web page similar to what I was showing you if you have a look in that thing there. Okay, all right, we'll go back to front page. What I normally say, and it contradicts what a lot of web designers say, um, is just basically up the top, you'll see the center. Okay, you'll see where I've got it in here, and if you can't see it, that's this little thing here. I click on center first. Okay, so I'll click on center, and then up the top, you'll see there's a little thing that's a table command. Okay, just in here, this little table icon, sorry, not command. Okay, what I do, I will press that next. So I click on that, and I want one table. And there, as you can see right now, is my table, this thing here. All right. Now, I put my mouse inside the table, and I press my right mouse button, and I go table properties. Now this isn't tricky, you don't have to know it all, you don't have to know what it means, but alignment I just put to be center. And then I leave everything and I put, I want my page width to be, or table width to be around about 60%. So I type in 60% and make sure you've got the percent actually ticked there, okay? Make sure that's the one, not pixels. Okay, and then do I want a border, one of those little borders around it? Well, maybe yes, maybe I want one, you know, like the numeral one here, the size, and I'll make it say black the border and my background of the table which is in this section here okay the background of the table I'll make that white and then I'll just go and press apply and okay now you might say to me yeah but David what's these two kind of little lines why is there a table inside a table okay I'll tell you what I forgot to do there all you do is you right click you go into table properties and there's a thing here did you notice collapse table border you see that one right there? Okay, all you have to do now is click that, press apply, press OK, and it's now gone. Now, just to make sure I'm doing it all right, I put my mouse inside that table there, and I click on, you know, a few little icon, uh, a few little letters, and I go down. Okay, so there's the beginning of my table, my press delete. I now go up to the top, and you'll see here where it says format, tools, etc. Okay, and I click on one of the commands here. I'll show you what I'm doing. All I do is I go format background, and the background, which is just in here, I want to make the background of my page, I want to make that blue, for example, and I press OK. And the table, of course, is white. So now, say for example, I want to start designing a page. OK, first of all, what I would do if I were you, I'd put your mouse up the top and I would press Insert Picture from your file. And then when you go to My Pictures, I'll go down to where it says David here, David Banner, there it is, and I insert it. I press Enter. And then I put my mouse anywhere in the table and I go, what I do, table properties, I just change it to one and press apply. And then as you can see there now, straight away, there is the banner. There is my background, like my background of course is over here. There is my banner. There is where I write my content. And of course that's still the background as well. Now, just so I don't mess things up, what I'll do now, I'll actually save this. So I'll show you what to do. All you do, you go up to the top here where it says file. Okay, and you click on that. Click on File, click on Save As, and down here where it says New Page, well I don't want it to be called New Page, I want this to be the template of my site, for example. Okay, so what I do, in here I write template.html, just remember the extension, and where it says here the page title is called New Page, well I don't want it to be called that, I'll just click on Change Title, okay, just there, okay, click on that one, and I'll put David Kavanagh Internet 
coaching for, for a second, okay? And then I'll put template, okay? Because this is the template, and I'll just press OK. And now you'll see by looking at this, I'm in the My Website section. Whoop, the mouse went a bit skewy there. Uh, my Websites. What, what you can do, folks, I make sure I'm in my computer, I'm in my C drive, I'm in my, uh, my documents and settings. Okay, I go to David, I go to uh, my documents, and then I go to my websites. That's how I get into it, okay? And then I'll make a little folder and I'll call it David's website. So that means everything we're writing now is changed to David's website, okay, up the top here. So everything we make is going to be stored inside this thing. Every time we go back to alter it, we go into David's website, which is under my websites, and every single uh, file will be placed in this section here, okay? And this one, of course, is template. Okay, so what we'll do now, we'll just press save. So And it says, do you want to save this picture? Do you want to save this banner into this directory? Well, yes, we have to press OK here. So all we do, OK it. Now, say for example you think to yourself on a piece of paper, well I want an about us page, I want a contact us page, I want a links page, I want an index page. Okay, you know what you do? You simply go in file, save as, and we'll call it index, because the first page we want to call it index.html, we'll save it. Then we go file, we want to save it as, okay, about us.html, okay. Then we want to save it as contact.html etc etc and then we might put uh, for example um, products.html and then we press on save so now if you have a look if I go into here save as okay we've now got if you look at it all these pages about us contact us or contact page okay there index page which is your home page products page and of course this page we're not going to upload but we're keeping it that one's a template page and please note they're all stored inside David's website on my local computer which is my home desktop laptop whatever I'm recording it on so say for example now we wanted to go onto the index page that one there well all we simply do we just cancel that there and we go file open in my websites, so we're in my websites here, okay, we want to go and open up, uh, where is it, David's website and the index page, okay, we can shut this products page for the moment, okay, there's the index, and now we start writing anything we want on that page, okay, that's the basis of doing front page, that's all there is with the basics, okay, now people say, how do you highlight, well, you go over the top here, and you press bold, press center, etc., Okay, so you can write whatever you want, and this is going to be on the index page. So I'll start another video in a couple of seconds time, but I just want you to go over this, look what I did from the start, just see how I put the banner in, okay, how I put change my color on my background, which is just in the format section up here, um, how I did my table, that's this table here, just have a look how I did the whole lot, figure it out, and how I actually saved it as index.html, products, etc. And once you've got that down on paper, you're confident with that, then we'll move on to the next site, uh, next video, which is actually filling in this part here. It's actually going in and saying, okay, where's the content? Where's the copywriting that I want in this part? And how do I go down to the bottom and actually start putting in, you know, down here, like a click here to order button, so put links to PayPal, etc. But that's the basics of it so far, the basics of Microsoft Front Page. This is David Kavner. Check me out on the next video because we're going to go in depth as into how to do that. So I'll talk to you very soon. In the meantime, have a great day. See you very soon. Bye-bye.